with Coach Will Wade. This place is filled to capacity at 4,200. Uh, chances are, 10 years ago, you wouldn't quite seen that many people following McNeese basketball. Shoemate wins the toss for McNeese back to Omar Cooper. Northwestern will start in a man-to-man -man defense here as Cooper works the ball to the right side of the offensive formation. Shahade Wells now with the basketball, looking for a pick. He'll drive, he'll get down low, he'll stop and turn. His shot is short, may have been blocked partially. And the rebound to the Demons. Good defense by Northwestern to deny Wells the basket. This is Wilson for the Demons, now to Chase Forte. In the corner, a three-pointer is airborne and good. Chris Mubiru, the guard from Philadelphia, he drains the first shot taken by the Demons. The Northwestern State's got a 3-0 lead. These teams played a very close game for most of the way up in Natchitoches. Earlier in the conference season, the East pulled away a bit at the end. These teams have a rivalry that goes back decades, really, in all sports. Javon Garcia stops at the free throw line, lost the ball. It's tied up, and that will be Northwestern State basketball on the alternate possession. These guys have slugged it out on the football field and the basketball courts, obviously, baseball diamonds. They're so close to one another that it promotes the rivalries in the sports. A lot of times the players are very familiar with each other from high school, etc. Demons have the player Carlin Hardy from Lake Charles on their roster. Hardy's brother played for McNeese. Trapping press by McNeese. And now a drive and the shot no good. The offensive board and a foul is called on McNeese. They will get... Omar Cooper with the personal and two shots upcoming for Dwayne Posey. Three nothing demons here in the early going. They'll be at the foul line. Posey they, going way up for that one. And the demons demonstrating they will have a lot of fight left under the basket to say the very least. Posey a 79% free throw shooter. The lefty hits the first one. One more forthcoming. Four nothing Northwestern State. Second one also good, 5-0 in favor of the Demons. Cooper will bring it up for the Pokes. That's a shoemate, Christian shoemate. Garcia is Wells. Omar Cooper. Cooper takes it into the paint. Now backs out of there, stays on the dribble. Now he'll shoot about a 16-footer. That's a little hard, no good. Well, Northwestern backed off of Cooper, gave him the shot, really. Some teams have had that strategy with Cooper. Working to the left side now. Forte. Forte avoids a double team. He finds Davis. Forte again. That three-pointer is good, and Northwestern is on fire. All of a sudden, we've seen that before. Again, they're making the shots from about mid-length distance. Column for three. In and out, no good. Well, not only are the Cowboys not making the shots, they're not getting the rebounds as well. Davis got that rebound. He sends it up top to Forte. Into the corner it goes. Another three. And that's no good. First attempt from Davis. Here come the Cowboys, two on one. Wells with the layup. Nicely done. They do that as, any, as good as any team probably in the country. Two on one break. Mubaru hands it back to Davis, and now up top it goes. That's Forte. Garcia guards him, and he's plays a switching man-to-man -man here. Forte cross court. Mubaru missed, and Colum gets the board. Cooper comes out on the run for McNeese. Column will drive. He'll take it down low. Shot blocked. And a foul call. 
But it looked like four demons congregated right around Collins, denying him the shot, but drawing the foul as well. Collins not used to driving the lane. He's usually already in there. Well, they'll get two. Been a good free throw shooter on the year for him. He's been in a bit of a slump lately. Collin at 75%. First one is right through. 8 3 Demons. Collin looking to make a couple of these and kind of get the Cowboys on track offensively. Almost four minutes into this game, and the folks only have three points. Our officials tonight, Brent Dugas, Jeff Malum, and Nori Kidwell. Malum hits both free throws. McNeese with some pressure after the made free throw. That's broken easily by the Demons. Forte finds Dwayne Posey, now Wilson. Into the corner it goes. Forte sends it back up top to Mubaru. And he got that one off the glass and in. Tough left-handed shot. It really was. He was moving quite fast, too, as he went through the lane, but he still had enough control to spin the ball off the glass into the hole. Column up top for the Cowboys. Demons hot here early. Wells with a long three. That's no good. Demon rebound. Forte on the run. Stops. Finds Cliff Davis. Ball knocked loose by McNeese, and a foul will be called on the Demons, Dwayne Posey. We have played a little more than four minutes of this one. Northwestern has opened a six-point advantage. There's a timeout, Toyota. Right now, the Demons are three of six from the floor for 50%. They're two of four from beyond the three-point line for 50%, and they're two of two from the foul line for 100%. Cowboys are shooting 20%, Tom, one of five from the floor. Shahade Wells now finds Garcia, works the perimeter. Into the corner, that's Shoemate. Fake to three, then drove in deep, kicks it back up top to Garcia. Octavian Collum down low, backs his way in, spins, got down deep and got it over the rim and in. It counts and he is fouled. And Octavian Collum has a chance for the three-point play. McCollum's been busy from the foul line. He's two of two thus far in the game. Won't be shooting this foul, however. Apparently they didn't call him. No, foul. that's what I'm thinking. I thought they had. It's demon ball. I was marking down stuff on my score sheet. The demons inbounded it. So it's 10 6. Pay attention, Tom. It's television. <laughs> Never slows me down. That's right. <laughs> Northwestern Trying down to penetrate low. from the left side and it's a steal for the Cowboys. Shahade Wells comes down low. And he missed. It's tapped up. And no good by the Pokes. Richards comes down with it. Kicks it to Wells. Tries baseline. Cut off. Garcia for three. There it is. Cowboys have cut the lead to one on a Javon Garcia three-pointer. That all started with the steal by McNeese. They were unable to convert that on the fast break. Stayed after it. Forte drives the lane. Addition a dunk. Justin Wilson, the 6'9 senior, slams that one home. Demons respond with a pair. Demons are playing nice offense here thus far in the ball game. They've gotten some easy shots and converted them. Shoemate got the defenders airborne and put it up no good. Rebounded a foul. Haven't seen a sign yet as to who that's going on. It looks like it's Wilson for Northwestern who will get the personal. It looks like from the reaction of the head coach. Yeah, that's his second personal and the third team foul. So Shoemate will be at the foul line. He's been a bit of an adventure at the stripe this year, shooting just 44%. Wilson, one of Northwestern's bigs, at 6'9". He'll afford to get him in foul trouble. Shoemate is long with the first free throw. His woes on the stripe continue. 
but his eyes also continue. His dunks make up for it. Yes, they do. Christian, one of just three McNeese Cowboys returning from last year's program. He hits the second free throw. It's a two-point demon lead. McNeese with some pressure. Easily broken by Northwestern. Lane into the ball game. Sends it back up top to Davis. And now Forte. Cliff Davis. 15 points per game is his average. He works on Richards. Takes it into the lane. Dishes into the corner. Forte for three. Got it. Demons by five. They're pretty tough from the three-point line. At least they have been up to this point tonight. That's pretty much their specialty. They like to get in the corner deep and fire it up. Columns pass hit somebody, went to a cowboy. And now Antavion has it back. There's Shoemate, lays it up and in. Good heads up by Shoemate. He knew he was uncomfortable, didn't quite have the body tilt that he wanted. So rather than go for the slam, he just went for the layup. Mubaru back up top now. It's Forte. Forte drives on Wells. Ball is kicked and cut loose. Recovered by McNeese as Shahade Wells will come into the front court. Now Richards has it. Richards drives. Layup is blocked. Big block. I think that was Posey that got it. He got all of it. Davis for three. Short, no good. Wells with a Cowboy rebound. Pace of this game is frantic. And now a foul called on the Demons. Jamel Lane from behind. Four Demons are not dressed tonight. Mitch Williams, JT Warren, John Wilson, and Braylon Bush. Bush is typically a starter for Northwestern State, and he's a former McNeese Cowboy. He had a good game up in Natchitoches. He did. First C time these two teams met. C.J. Felder has checked in for McNeese. Also Michael Saunders. Underneath it goes Shoemate. And a foul will be called as Lane got a piece of Christian Shoemate. Cowboys looking to penetrate. Get it under the bucket if they can and draw the foul at worst. Get a slam at best. It's already five team fouls on the Demons. They're hanging on to a three-point advantage here. Shoemate will be at the line for repair. He hit one of two earlier. First free throw is good. That's what he wants, opportunities. Shoot his way out of this. McNeese is coming off a 30-point-plus victory over UNO on Saturday. Shoemate got the roll there. Northwestern lost. Their last time out at Corpus Christi. 15-14 Demons. Joe Slack, uh, Jay Slack has checked in for the Demons. Forte. Davis. Shot from the corner is short, no good. And a rebound to the Demons. Lane missed that three-pointer. Slack got the rebound. And a foul on McNeese. Foul goes against from the foul line. The Demons answer their 5 of 10, 10 from the floor for 50% and 3 of 7 from the three-point line for 43%. Back to you for the action, Tom. Inbounded by the Demons. Davis. Shoemate guards him. Now it's Forte. At least continues this switching man-to-man. -man. Into the corner it goes. Open three for Slack. Off the back iron, no good. Richards comes out for McNeese on the run. He'll settle things down, finding Michael Saunders to set up the offense. The demon shooter was so far in the hole, he was almost out of bounds when he let loose that three-point attempt. Saunders works up top, stays on the dribble. Now down the lane. This is in the corner to Wells. Back up top, Saunders. Saunders gets a pick, finds Richards. Three. Cowboys have the lead. 17-15.
Richards is instant offense off the bench. And he microwave. Chase Forte from North Carolina dribbles with the left hand. Takes it around the perimeter up top. Away from the ball, we get a foul. Richards of McNeese will get the personal, his first third team foul. Northwestern under their basket with 20 on the shot clock. Up top it goes to J.C. Riley. And Forte dribbles. He'll fire. That one's short to the floor. Cowboys have the rebound. Wells comes out on the run now. Richards fakes the shot. Now Saunders. Saunders getting a lot of time here lately after missing the first half of the season. C.J. Collum, or Felder rather, and Wells with a three-pointer. They mixed up the two big men. I called Felder Collum. Well, got his first name right. Well, Wells kept signaling the play, signaling the play, and they finally found out where he was, saw the signal, got him the ball, and bang, three-pointer. Cowboys with a five-point advantage have gone on a run here. Into the high post it goes. Lane, leaning shot, no good. And a rebound by Felder. Now Shahade Wells. Wells back to the bucket, drives down low, puts it up, and no good. Felder went up too soon. And the rebound is to Riley. Or the Demons. Bunch of players sitting by the scorer's table now, so we'll have some subs coming in here in just a moment. Fresh legs for both teams. Davis up top now to Riley. Ball knocked loose. Cowboys steal. Lackadaisical pass. Was. Saunders down the lane. Left-handed layup is good. How about left-handed layup, huh? Here come the Cowboys. Cowboys on a run here. And the Pokes have their largest lead of the game at seven. Demons taking their time now. Slack out on the right wing, right in front of the Cowboy bench. Drives on Shoemate. Stops. Sends it out to Lane. Now Slack again. A tip by Wells and a steal. Wells. Richards, oh, it counts and he is fouled and Richards celebrates on his back behind the basket. A chance for a three-point play as the Cowboys run continues. Well, Richards sent from the foul line. They are five of six from the three-point line, three of five, Tom. Richards trying to complete the three-point play after the layup and the foul. Richards is an 83% foul shooter and hits. Cowboys by 10. The Cowboys are out rebounding Northwestern by 10 to 8 count, or 10 to 4 count, I'm sorry. And a steal by McNeese. Now it's recovered by Northwestern. And Davis will come across, and 10 seconds is the call. Coach Wade was over there making the call. He was helping out. Yes, he was. Helping out. I didn't get the rebound right. It's 10 for the Cowboys and 8 for the Demons right now. So McNeese forces another turnover. Now the sixth for Northwestern to just one for the Pokes. Garcia go, uh, drives, spins, and the shot is blocked and out of bounds. Last touch by Northwestern. It's a break for the Cowboys. Yeah, it is. Wilson yeah. could not control it going out of bounds. Cowboys looking to do something more with the ball. Instead, they lose it. 9 on the shot clock for McNeese. Felder to Richards. 5 on the shot clock. Saunders will fire up a 3. That's no good. And it missed everything but the backboard. So the shot clock violation gives Northwestern the ball. 7.41 left. McNeese by 10 in this first half. And 
Davis is called for a travel. Yeah, he took an extra step right in front of us, in fact. Tried to stop, and looked like he just bounced a bit. Cowboys double team on the break all the way down the floor is really paying off for him now. The pressure is getting to the Demons. Davis yet to score. He's their leader. Garcia's open for three. That one is long. And they're going to get Felder over the back on the rebound. Like these big men have had a lot of foul trouble the last, what, four or five ball games. Columns on the bench right now. Felder has been a foul magnet. Gets his first. Well, the Cowboys foul. play very aggressively, Tom. And sometimes it pays off for them with the turnovers, and sometimes it doesn't with the fouls. Into the front court, it's Luguru. Now that's defense. This is happening right in front of us. Cam that Jones is. is guarding Forte. Forte takes it down and misses a finger roll. Foul called against McNeese. Foul will go against Saunders, Saunders his second. Cowboys applying all the pressure they can right now with that full court press that we have been watching really all year. Coach Wade had him running in the summertime, and this is the reason he had it done. He said they'll be in condition down the stretch, and he's right. Chase Forte, a 57% foul shooter, hits the first one. Column in for McNeese, so is Cooper. Felder and Saunders exit. This is all the guys that were seated in front of the uh, yeah. scorer's table there for about, what, five minutes? Seemed like a while. Got them both. Cowboy lead cut to eight. Garcia into the front court. Gets a pick. Can't really use it. There's Jones out to Cooper. Up top, Jones. Cameron Jones will drive. Stops in the lane. Richards baseline. Kicks it back to Jones. Open three, but that one's an air ball. Garcia tried to get the rebound, but was standing out of bounds. Cowboys worked it around the perimeter a couple of times and then were forced to kind of speed up the offense, resulting in a poor shot choice. Northwestern trying to whittle away this lead and climb back into this thing. Into the front court comes Wilson. Now right side, Posey. Davis sends it to Forte, and he'll set up the offense. Davis again, a pie on the right side. Top of the key, Dwayne Posey. Lubaru to Forte. He'll shoot. Long. No good. Cowboy rebound. Cooper on the run. Column, cross-court Garcia. Thanks. Oh. Jones, left side. Garcia up top. Drives the paint. And out of bounds. To McNeese. Looks like Garcia's pleading his case. Yeah, he wanted a foul there. Didn't get one. 15 on the shot clock for the Pokes. They get it into Jones. He runs into traffic and lost the basketball. Ouch. He put his face right into somebody's body there. And before the shot, a foul is called on McNeese. They will get Garcia, his first personal sixth team foul now on the Pokes. Demons will have it out of bounds with 26 on the shot clock. Cam Jones exiting the game. Yeah, he really planted his face right in the body of one of the demons. I didn't see exactly where he hit, he hit but I saw his reaction, which was ouch, and he lost the basketball in the process. He's checking his nose for blood yeah. right now on the bench. That was a walk that wasn't called. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. Sure did. Shame give, on me. Give he knew time. what he was doing. That's Have right. some faith. Yes, indeed. That's what I'm saying. That will be turnover number eight for the Demons. Just three for the Cowboys thus far. Omar Cooper into the front court for McNeese. Now Wells, he's guarded by Forte. Watch that matchup. They really went at it in the game 
at Northwestern. Four shot on the baseline. Doesn't go. Column missed that one long. Northwestern with the rebound. And east by eight. Forte drives. Blocking foul called on the Cowboys. They'll call it on Garcia. Yeah. Second. Still not over the limit are the Cowboys. So, oh no, they are. So, step into the line now is Forte. Forte hit two earlier, came in as a 57% foul shooter. And that one's short. And the Demons come down with a rebound. And the shot is up no good, but a foul is called. Good work on the boards. Well, the Demons were pounding the glass there to get the rebound. And the Cowboys pick up the foul as they contest the rebound. It was Posey who went up for the board. Came down, went up, and got fouled. There, Dwayne Posey is back at the line. He hit two of three earlier and missed one there. Score remains. 25-17. Wayne Posey hits the second one. And the Cowboy lead is down to seven. Northwestern with some pressure after the made free throw. Cooper and Shoemake will bring it up for the Pokes. Been a little while now since the Cowboys last score. Tavion Column up high. Now Umar Cooper. Richards open three. No good. Shoemate with the rebound. It counts and he is fouled. Shoemate with some strong work on the boards. Got that one to fall in. And the personal will go on Riley, his first. Shoemate at the line trying to convert the three point play. Shoemate's like a shark. He smells it in the water and goes up and gets it and puts it home. And the free throw crawls over the front rim and drops through. McNeese by 10. And the pressure after the made free throw. A double team. Davis comes back and helps out. He'll take it into the front court for the Demons. Forte will set things up. Cross court pass. Mubaru and that pass is errand out of bounds. Mubaru tried to give it to Cliff Davis, and there was a miscommunication there. Tried a half court, uh, a cross court, I should say, pass. Had a little bit too much salt and pepper on it. Like East by 10 with the possession here. Shahade Wells, now to column. Cooper, Cooper will drive. He's cut off. Column is open for three. Short. Demon rebound. As Lane went up to get that one. Forte on the left side. Cross court. Mubaru. Now baseline. Whoa, what a shot. Strong move to the basket by Mubaru. What a shot. And Mubaru. he drew the defenders out there with his yes, three-point shooting from earlier in the game. And that allowed him to drive. And he put on the strong move. Richards out to Shoemate. Fakes, now drives, cut off. Richards for three. Long, no good. Column with the rebound and the putback. Big men coming through for the Cowboys right now. Cowboys by 10. Into the front court lane. Lane drives. It's cut off. Shoemate guards him. Lane kicks it out to Forte. Lane oh, again. Man. And an offensive foul called against Northwestern. I was watching the basketball. Looks Wells like got piled into and knocked yeah. down quickly. So we got a for the Demons Forte with eight and Maburu with seven as we get back to the action here with 317 to go in the ballgame or in the first half. Sorry. Michael Saunders into the front court. Up top it goes in Tavian Column, a shoemate. Northwestern playing man-to-man -man. into the post column. Lost it. Out of bounds. 
I think it was off a demon. Yeah, must have hit the foot of the defender there on the dribble. 15 on the shot clock for the Cowboys. Christian Shoemate up top. Shahade Wells. Michael Saunders drives. Moved with the left hand is no good, but a foul called, and Saunders will head to the line. Pretty nifty move as he was going up to switch it to his left hand and try and get it that way. He's an effort to it. We'll see now what he can do from the foul line. He's been good there in his short time back with the team. 11 of 13 on the year, 84%. I would rate him as one of the best free throw shooters they have. He hits the first one. Free throw shooting is not one of the strengths of the East Cowboys. Checking out is Lane and back in Riley. Riley at 6'10". He's a freshman out of Atlanta. Saunders hit them both. Cowboys by 12. And McNeese with some pressure after the made free throw. This is a constant throughout the game up to this point. Now let's break it and get the dunk out of Riley. Northwestern broke that press easily there, and they found the open man. Transition Cowboys. defense for the Cowboys. Richards for three. Got it. How do you stop that? Richards with nine in the game now. He is three of six from the field. Mubaru, Forte. Pace slowing down here just a bit lately. They're working the perimeter on the Cowboy defense here. See if they can find an open lane or a scoring lane. Forte guarded by Saunders. Shot clock at five. Looking for a screen is Forte. He finds an open man in the corner, and Mubaru misses the shot. Rebound, layup. Forte was right there, and... No cowboy there to defend him. Got a break there. Pokes by nine. So pokes by 11. Wells to Column. He's open for three. No good. Rebound comes out to Saunders. And the Cowboys will reset the offense. That was one of those, look at what I got. Rebounds. Yeah, came right to him. Didn't realize it. Richards again for three. That one's long. 118 left, first half. Forte into the post for Riley. Forte again. Forte looking underneath, off a couple of players and out of bounds. Who touched it last? It's McNeese basketball with 102 to play here in the first half. I saw Shoemate around it. It went off a hand. I just couldn't see who it belonged to. Michael Saunders, Column, Richards into the post to Shoemate. Shoemate back to the bucket, spins, tries to go baseline, it does, but the shot is blocked as Riley got it down the ooh, an errant pass is recovered by Posey. Traveling. Traveling. Turnovers are piling up for the Demons now. That's number 12 in the first half. That's a lot. McNeese went on a 14-0 run here in this first half after the Demons had the early lead. Cowboys have basically hung on to about a 10-point advantage since that time. Cowboys are going to take their time. Play clock. The game clock and the shot clock are one second off, so McNeese is going to let it wind down with an 11-point advantage here. Column oh. drives, and he missed the shot. Oh, man. He had it. Now a tip. Ball loose, recovered by the Demons. Riley hits at the buzzer. Nice play by the Demons, finding Riley, who just sort of tapped it off the glass. He was wide open. Nobody yeah. saw him. Except for Corpus 27 and M Commerce 20. That's early in the second. And Lamar leaves UNO at halftime 46-36 here. McNeese 
35, Northwestern 26. And we are underway with McNeese in control of the basketball to begin this second half. That's Omar Cooper with it. Northwestern plays man-to-man. Cooper drives, gets in some traffic, dribbled it off somebody's foot, and then Cooper himself knocked it out of bounds. He lost his balance underneath the basket, resulting in the turnover. Cowboys press. And it will come up into the front court with Posey. Posey dragged his yeah. foot and traveled. He did. Couldn't hide that. Got 4,400 people watching. Make sure that didn't happen. So each team turns it over on their first second half possession. Omar Cooper. Guarded by Davis. He finds Column. You too. All of Ron's fans are here <laughs> talking to him. <laughs> All one of them. Yeah. Just by. Cooper lost that one out of bounds. Another turnover for McNeese. Three turnovers on three possessions so far here in the second half. Saunders will put some pressure on. Davis tries to bring it up. That's knocked away by Column and out of bounds. Thirty-five twenty-six is our score. Dr. Wade Roos coming by to say hi. We Hello, appreciate Dr. Roos. Yes, indeed. Again, Ron is uh, <laughs> as popular as anyone here with a microphone on doing a broadcast. Yeah, why not? There's a steal by Saunders of McNeese. Now Shahade Wells. Column down the lane. Ooh, he came up short on that one. It was right there for him. Sure was. Just gave up on it a little bit. Nobody has scored here in the second half. Chase Forte dribbles out on the left side. He's playing the man-to-man. -man. Switches frequently. Shoemate's going to get called for a foul there. He is. He bumped into Forte. And the Christian Shoemate that's foul number two. Well, it's kind of bodying up to Forte. So 20 on the shot clock for the Demons. They'll take it out from underneath their bucket. Wells tips one away. Northwestern will move over to that side of the court for the entry pass. Right in front of their bench. Mubaru. Took a couple steps to the bucket, then passed it out to Forte. Ubaru again. Inside oh, a yeah. block by Column and a steal by McNeese as Wells comes out of there with it. Jahade Wells, he'll drive. He will miss the shot, but a foul is called. Well, he knew that worst he was going to draw a foul. Posey gets the personal. It's number two on him. First team foul of the second half. Jahade Wells will head to the basket. Head to the free throw line, rather. You see the Shoemate block there. Shoemate has pretty serious jumping abilities that you've seen here tonight. Heavy duty up, to say the least. Wells hits the first free throw. Wells started the season slowly at the line. He's up to 73% now on the season. He hit both of them to give McNeese an 11 point lead. Forte will bring it up. Garcia harasses him and gets called for bumping him. And that will be foul number three on Garcia. The Cowboys are being very aggressive on their defense. And now it's costing them a couple of players in foul trouble. Garcia will exit and Richards will come in. Along the baseline. That ball was tipped on the pass. Northwestern recovers. Davis, cross court. Mubaru, he misses the shot. And Shoemate came down with a rebound, but I think he came down with a foul as well. Yeah, I think we got him on the back. It's going to be number three on, back. on Christian Shoemate. Well, this is not what you want in any kind of six-minute window. 
You got two starters now that have to go to the bench because of foul trouble. Each with three fouls here. With 18 minutes left to go in the ball game. Felder will check in for Shoemate, so he's with two bigs now in the game. Solomon and Felder don't play together much. They are now. And another foul. Boy. That's a bunch of fouls real quick. Real quick. They'll get column on that personal. And the East with four fouls here. Two minutes into the second half. Not what you wanted if you're Coach Will Wade. Demons inbound. Wilson got it. Double team over there on Forte. Knocked loose. Stolen by the Cowboys. Pass down for Shahade Wells. Layup. That's one way to do it. The double team worked for McNeese there. And a timeout by Northwestern State. Cowboys have stretched the lead out now to 13. Demons inbound. Forte will bring it up. Avoids a double team and finds Posey. Demons enter the front court. Ubaru. Left side, it's Posey. Posey backing in, now double teamed. All knocked loose, recovered. And we get some discussion going on after the play. Well, the official is keeping everybody calm, which is what they do. And I'm calm the jump. I'm pretty jittery over here. <laughs> Still haven't seen what the call is. Well, I think he's calling jump ball. His possession to Northwestern. Northwestern. Yeah, I think that's correct. And there will be four on the shot clock. I thought the way they're going, they've been calling an awful lot of fouls. I just assumed there was one coming here. Well, and that would have been a good assumption here in the second half. Forte to inbound. And he'll get it in to Davis. Davis will stop and fire a three. That's an air ball. And the shot expires. Shot clock expires. So it'll be McNeese basketball. Coach Wade says, hey, we had the ball. Why don't you just let us go with it? Instead yeah. Of calling it. Cowboys were looking at a potential fast break there. The official stopped it. And he has a 13-point advantage. And the lead, and the ball, rather. Another fun, good crowd here at... The Legacy Center. It's become the social event here in Lake Charles. Saunders. Nice drive to the bucket yeah. by Michael Saunders. Yeah. Got away from his man. Went up, laid it softly against the glass into the hole. Davis up ahead to Lane. Lane has it knocked loose. And a foul is called. The crowd get, votes with their voices about that. We're going to get Felder for the personal. I couldn't see whether that was... Contact in there or not. I do know that Felder has been just a foul machine here lately Yeah, he did Look at it on the replay Felder's not afraid to bump you And a shot by Forte oh. from the corner nice three-pointer wow. off the inbound Forte Gets the demons back to within 12 that was important for Northwestern State Saunders to Shahade Wells down low for Felder and a foul call this time against the Demons. And it'll be Wilson on the personal. I'm just amazed at the amount of whistles we have had since yeah. halftime. It tells me both teams have been aggressive and both teams have been powering down in the paint where the fouls are occurring. Richards. Lost it. Steal by the Demons. They'll come out on the run. Mubaru. Davis for three. He's going to heat up at some point, and that may be the beginning of it. Davis with his first points of the game. How about that? 
That was a two-pointer. And it's back to a nine-point game. Coming at 16 minutes left to go in the ball game. The average is 15. And he's one of the top three-point shooters in the conference. They held until then. Scoreless. Saunders open three. He answers. That's big. He's back up to 12. Almost feel momentum going to the demon side of the floor mm -hmm. right before that shot. Davis. Now Forte is guarded by Saunders. Into the corner with the pass for Ubaru. And away from the play, a foul called. Figure out who. 49%. They are hitting 5 of 12 from the three-point line for 41%, and 5 of 7 from the foul line for 40, or excuse me, for 71%. Demons to inbound. They will get it in, and a block by Collum on the shot by Lane. And East comes out on the run. During that break, we were told by the officials that they had Looked at the replay to see if there was a flagrant foul. There was not. The play continues as normal. McNeese by 12. Wells tees up a three. It's short, no good. Saunders tracks down the rebound for the Cowboys. And now drives baseline. All the way underneath, and that shot's blocked. You see blocks from both teams in this one. Forte. Got Felder on it way up top. Lost it for a moment. Got it back. Scramble. Davis. Now to Mubaru. Up top, Davis. Three pointer. Good. Wow. This is a reminiscence of the beginning of the ball game when it was a three point shooting gal uh, <clears throat> gallery for the Demons. Had good ball movement that time. We've got Davis open. He's hit a couple here in this second half after a scoreless first half. Column in the paint. Bad shot, no good. Felder with the rebound. There's a foul on the Demons. Felder working awfully hard under the basket. So the Cowboys have 16 fouls. That occurred with 15 minutes to go in the game. They'll be shooting free throws from this point forward. That's a whole bunch of personals. Well, especially if they keep at this rate yeah. being called on the players. That's the third on Northwestern State. And it's C.J. Felder heads to the foul line. Felder, a 77% free throw shooter on the year. Missed. Foul just line is so important for the Cowboys. That's just their been. second miss of the night. They've been pretty solid. Yeah. They can protect their lead from the foul line for the rest of the game if they hit the shots. They've not been a good foul shooting team on the year, just 68%. Northwestern State just did 67%. Felder hits number two. That's his first point of the night. Cowboys up by 10 now. Forte knocked away by Felder and out of bounds. One thing the Cowboys are real good at, steals. Northwestern hanging around, though. They're hanging around. Column exits. Shoemate back in with the three fouls. Well, his task is to not pick up that fourth. Yeah. Down by the Demons. Forte. Now Lane. Wilson. And another foul. They will shoot yep. one and one. Northwestern State will as they get Shahada Wells on the first. Well, that's his first, but it is the seventh. We are just over six minutes into the second half, and the Demons will be at the line with each foul moving forward. It's been a whole boatload of them. It's almost like they decided at halftime, no touching. Well, it's an aggressive defense both ways, so I can see why they would occur. But. There have been a few that might have been a tad suspect as the first one goes in from Davis. Oh, 
Yeah. A whole lot of physical contact, Tom. Second free throw is good. Looking at that replay, I didn't see Wells do anything. Yeah. Well, the Cowboys know what they have to do. Cowboys lead cut to eight. Saunders. Richards. Shoemate. Saunders. Wells. Baseline. There's Felder. And that's two. Beautiful feed for Shahade Wells. That got the crowd back into it. East by ten. Demons enter the front court. Forte. Lane gets away from the defender and takes it down the paint. Yeah. He's called for a traveling violation. That was more than a Euro step. <laughs> so Euro yes. and China step. <laughs> Maybe some Middle East in there, too. Yeah, yeah as we travel around the world. There you go. Ten-point cowboy lead. Richards to Wells. Oh, he wants to. Shoemate, he'll try a three. In and out, no good. Well, the Demons have the rebound. Demons with a chance to cut it down to single digits again. Oparu to Davis. Now along the baseline lane. And a foul against the Cowboys. I think they're getting Richards. That's the 18 foul on the Cowboys. Folks have a deep bench, so they can weather the storm as far as individuals go. The fact that the Demons will be shooting with each foul from this point forward gives them a challenge. Yeah, it really does, Tom. If they can hit these free throws if they can get them. This game will get tight quick. The rate they're calling the foul. Lane for the Demons, a 56% foul shooter. He missed the front end. And a foul called against the Demons as Riley is called for over the back. Shoemate will inbound for McNeese. 10-point Cowboy advantage. And some... Full court pressure by Northwestern State. Garcia enters the front court on the dribble. He's guarded tightly by Davis. Gets a pick but can't really use it. Kicks it out to Shoemate. Fakes a three, drives, and misses. A foul is called. I think they're going to get Riley again. Well, it looked like Christian changed his mind in the middle of his shot. Went from a slam dunk just to a layup. Yeah. Now he'll go to the foul line with the chance to pick up a couple. He'll get two shots. It was Riley on the personal. That's his third, 15 foul. Shoemate at the line for a pair. He's four of five at the line tonight. And that one's long. Second one perfect. Cowboys by 11. That's the fifth free throw that you make has made here this afternoon or this evening. Forte. He's logged a lot of minutes and has gone at the point all the way for the Demons. Forte works it up top, dribbling to the right hand. Now it's Davis. With Davis up top. Stops and fires. No good. Wells comes down with the board for McNeese. And into the front court he goes. Garcia for three. Perfect. That's what he does. Cowboys by 14. And the crowd gets into it. Double team in the backcourt. And a steal by McNeese. Wells. Layup. 16 is the Cowboy lead. Their biggest lead of the night. Just like that. Timeout, Northwestern State. Fans are on their feet. The Demons. Right now, there's a one double-digit score. Shahada Wells for the Cowboys at 11 points. One double-digit score for the Demons. Chase Forte with 13. 
Back Fort to you, Thomas. Forte and Davis have gone all the way in the ballgame for Northwestern State. They have a very short bench due to injuries. See if that plays an impact as the game continues. A steal by McNeese. Garcia for the slam. How about it? His defense is paying off for the Cowboys right now. A couple of easy buckets in succession for the Cowboys. And an 18-point advantage. Not quite to the midway point of the second half. And it seemed like just a second ago, it was a single-digit lead the Cowboys were nursing. Davis now to Posey. Posey gets into traffic and a foul. I think that's going to be Wells on the personal. Just his second. whole bunch of crooked numbers in the foul column for both teams, but Cowboys more so. And Posey will head to the line for a pair. Well, fortunately, the Cowboys have a deep bench that they can go to if they need to. Posey has three points in the ball game. They've all come at the foul line where he's three of four. First one, no good. One more for Posey, who also has chipped in five rebounds. Wells is still arguing this case with the official. Second free throw is good. 55-38. Saunders will bring it up with Garcia against some pressure. Garcia enters the front court and now will set up the offense. Northwestern still playing man-to-man. -man. Garcia up top. Now Felder back to Garcia. Wells. Wells drives. Stops. Lost the ball. Must have been fouled. Foul will go against Forte, number three. Into the game for the Demons, Jay Slack. He's the 6'6 junior out of Fort Worth. Played a few minutes in the first half. Garcia fakes a three. Now works to the right on the dribble. Here's Saunders. Felder. And a foul away from the ball. You got Shoemate. Uh, no, it's Davis who got the foul. Oh, okay. And I think Shoemate might go shoot. Yeah, it's going to be one and one for the Cowboys as they have now got the Demons over the limit at seven. Shoemate will see if he can continue his good free throw shooting so far on the night five of seven. It's just been a struggle for him all year long. Well, that's a great night for him, five of And it comes up short. De Shoemate gets the rebound himself. And he missed the shot, but another foul will send him back to the line. He charges in after the rebound. Gets fouled. Can't hit the shot. Shoemate does some of his best work after a missed free throw. I'm telling you what. He did a Corpus Christi the other night. He's consistent, isn't he? So two more at the line for Shoemate. That one. Hit every part of the rim and the glass. You could hear the crowd talking as we're kept talking. Yep. So McNeese by 18 again. And equals the largest lead. That free throw is more conventional. Cowboys by 19. Coming up on 10 minutes to go. Demons enter the front court. Posey. It's knocked away by the Pokes. It's stolen. Saunders. Alley oop. And the shoe slam. Cowboys by 21. There you go. And the crowd is having the time. Shoemate bats another one out of bounds. Crowd is up. Look at this alley oop to Shoemate. Great feet by Saunders. Look at Saunders how high was Shoemate all in. Saunders was so excited, he was jumping up before Shoemate ever slammed that one down. It's amazing how high he can go. Shoemate, I'm talking about. Astonishing. If he were a drone, he'd be an FC, uh, FAA violation. <laughs> Maybe anyway, who knows? Northwestern threw the pass, and I think it hit the out-of-bounds line. Ouch. 
There's another look at the slam from a different angle. Look at how high he gets. That's incredible. See the bottom of his shoes there. Yeah. And it's at the right time, too. Gets momentum back, gets the crowd back in the ball game. Saunders for McNeese. He drives, stops. Wells takes it down low. And he gets fouled and will go to the line. Wells times his, his attempt, his leap. So his defender was in the air. Justin Wilson with his fourth personal. And Shahade Wells at the line for a pair. First one crawls over the front rim, bounces off the glass and in. Folks by 22. Mubiru back in, or Mubiru back in rather, and Wilson exits with those four fouls. Wells hit them both. That was by 23. Well, it certainly didn't look like that the first three minutes into the second half. Knocked loose by McNeese, but they're out of bounds. Garcia got a hand on it. It slid across the baseline in the process. Still gets a good round of applause from his teammates, the bench, the fit of the crowd. Davis to inbound, and he does so. Forte gets it up ahead for Slack. Forte again. Now along the baseline. It's tipped out to Forte. Open three, and he knocks it home. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all. The Demons in the scoring drought. Cowboy lead cut to 20. Garcia for three. Ooh, that's way off target. Luberu with the rebound, and he'll bring it to the front court. Forte had it tonight. He's got 16 for the Demons. Davis sheds a defender, finds Luberu, uh, and he hits another three. Two quick ones for the Demons. I believe he's down to 17. And, and back and forth we go, Tom. Yeah, but he's had all the momentum. The Demons... Have stopped that. Devon Garcia to Shahade Wells. They'll try to use a pick. Garcia will shoot. That's in and out, no good. Rebound. Shoemate comes down with it, puts it off the glass oh. and in. Big time shot. Big Shoemate. time. Got 15 now. And the lead is back to 19. Forte will dribble for the Demons. Works up top. Now Slack. Slack goes down low, and it is out of bounds. See what last was touched by as we head to the timeout. 7.46 remaining. Cowboys by 19. This is Southland Conference. Back. Big men for Northwestern have four fouls, Wilson and Riley. So while the fouls are even now in the second half, it's affecting Northwestern State more. They're unable to use either of their 6-9 players with four fouls. So they've just decided to shoot some threes and make them. They're having fun with it, yep. it looks like. Garcia will bring it up for the Cowboys. They'll get it into the front court. Omar Cooper for McNeese. He'll drive. Cooper all the way down low. Left-handed layup is no good. A foul is called, and Cooper heads to the line. We had a good move on the left side of the paint. Goes in for the layup. Doesn't get it, but he gets two. Cooper. That bump pretty solid. Yeah. Cooper, he's a ball handler and a defensive player. Only scores about five points per game. At the line, a 63% foul shooter. And he hits that one. Doesn't have a whole lot of arc well, to his sh shot. Sh <laughs> Shoebait. Has him come down with ice particles on them. He yeah. shoots them so high, and Cooper's exactly the opposite. He's like a Tony Gwynn line drive. Yeah, you? he's, he's got it. Cowboys by 21 as Cooper hits them both. But he's still putting pressure on as Slack will bring it up, along with Forte. Forte in the front court will set up the O. Slack. 
He's guarded by Garcia. Forte again with Cooper on him. Forte drives, shot blocked, slammed home, but a foul is called prior to the rebound dunk. Had a demon wind up on the floor under the basket. And it will be Forte at the line for a pair as Garcia gets his fourth personal for McNeese. 16 points in the game for Chase Forte. He's 6'4 and 190. Without Braylon Bush, Forte has been the, not just the primary point guard, but really the only point guard for the Demons. At 6'4 and with a good wingspan, he's a pretty tough player. Missed the free throws. Cowboys by 21 have possession. Cooper for McNeese. Up top for Jones trying the long three, and he hits Cam Jones. That's his first points of the evening. Limited action for Cam. Here come the Demons. Forte to Slack. Slack down the lane. Fouled by Column. 6.25 remaining. Both teams in the double bonus. Well, Column determined he wasn't going to give him a free ride to the basket. So he jumped on his back as he went by him. Just the second foul on Column. First free throw is good from Joe Slack, or Chase Slack, rather. His first point of the night. He has a rebound in eight minutes of action. Hit them both. Slack came in as a 60% foul shooter, but those two were nicely executed. Cooper for McNeese. Out to Richards for three. It was a little off balance and missed. Demon rebound. It was good ball movement. Davis. Nice shot in the lane over the top of a couple of Cowboys. Cowboy lead cut to 20. Column open three. Yes. Just about everybody in a Cowboy uniform can shoot the three. That's a rare gift in this day's modern basketball age. Usually you got one or two players that can do that. Cowboys have probably five. Lubaru lost it. Cowboys come down with it. They'll have a fast break here. Cooper to Richards, and he hits the layup. Foul is called. Cowboys up the lead to 25, can make it 26 with the free throw. Foul is on Davis, just his second. Davis is not having his usual night. Really isn't. You can credit that to the defense he's having to face. He scored 10 and averages 15. So not too far off the average. Richards misses the free throw. Score remains the same, 73-48. Forte into the post. It's knocked loose, but recovered by Northwestern. And a bucket and a foul. As Davis scores, foul will go against Richards. Three-point attempt here for the Demons. Just like that, Davis is up to 12. He could be at 13 and right in line with his usual 15-point average. Well, the Demons aren't stopping their fight. They're here to win this thing. Even though they're trailing right now, about 23. Davis at the line, 86%. And he missed. Did I jinx him? Column with the rebound. Oaks by 23. Cooper pushes it up court. Now Jones, now Column, another three pointer, and another hit. Column in double digits with 12 now in a couple of threes. 
Under five minutes to go. Those are just backbreakers at this stage in the ball game. Forte. In the paint, Davis hits and he's fouled. So Davis with 14 now. And they foul. Still haven't posted who it was against. I think it might have been Cooper. So Davis at the line with 14 points. Well, they're showing Cam Jones picking up his first personal. That must be it. Yeah, that's who got him. So at the line, Cliff Davis from Thomasville, Georgia, hits the free throw. And he's got his average, all of which came in the second half. Cooper drives and wow. hits the layup. He gave him some space. How about some speed out there, huh? Cooper's quick. Cowboys by 25. And Coach Wade is not happy. Uh -uh. Something has got him going. Forte. Backs up and fires. That's off the back iron, no good. Rebound, scramble. Slack comes out uh -oh. of there with it, and a uh -oh. foul called against Northwestern State. That's going to be number five on Justin Wilson. And I think they may have called it intentional. Well, it could have been. It could have been. Flagrant foul. Okay. So who's shooting? Well, it looks like it's going to be McNeese's ball. It is McNeese basketball. It was a defensive foul. That's why they're not shooting. An offensive foul, rather. That's why McNeese is not shooting. So they'll have basketball. This is Michael Saunders. Now to Omar Cooper. Cowboys playing with two point guards now. And Tavian Collum. Omar Cooper. Cooper lost control for a moment. Got it back and found Collum. Now Richards will throw up a long one. And that's good. How about that with a, with a big lead? Take the shot clock all the way down to two and get a 25-foot three-pointer. That's about as good as it gets. 81-53. And East by 28, their largest lead. Slack along the baseline. And now a shot is good from Mubaru. 81-56. Coming up on three minutes to go in the ballgame. In this one, Northwestern st State started out hot early in the first half. East answered with a 15-0 run. And they kept that lead around 10 up until about the midway point of this second half where McNeese took over and have led by as many as 28. And a travel as Cam Jones dragged the back foot. There's a timeout on the court with 244 to play. 8156 Cowboys. This is Southland Conference basketball. Using the foul line as a way to extend or protect the lead in the ball game tonight. Turnover-wise, we keep looking at it because it's so important. The Cowboys with seven. The Demons with 24. Back to you, Tom. Forte is double-teamed. We'll find Davis. Back to Forte. Davis wanted to shoot a long three, thought better of it. Finds a... And in the paint, that's slack. And as the pass enters, a foul is called. Well, the Richards. Demons continue to, to attack, Tom, and draw fouls. Really, that's the bulk of their offensive late. Slack at the foul line. 15 of 25 coming into the contest. That's a 60% free throw percentage. Slack hits. Roberts Berze checks in for Nick Watch out. He may fire up five threes in the final two minutes and 28 seconds. The crowd favorite. Yep. And in for the Demons now is Carlin Hardy. He's the Lake Charles native. 
Went to St. Louis High School here in Lake Charles. And his brother played for McNeese. He was a very good McNeese Cowboy player. For yes, he years. was. Sure was. D. John Brown comes in for McNeese as well. He played a point guard spot. Slack hit them both. And re-entering for the Demons. Mubaru in for McNeese. Wesley Fields, a redshirt freshman out of Baton Rouge. stoppage of play. I'm not sure what's going on, but the crowd's getting on their feet. And the Cowboys are leading the cheerleading here. Well, the crowd is making noise. There's a technical on the Cowboys. I think it was on the Cowboys bench. Regardless, Slack will be at the line to shoot. Free throw is good. 81-59. Technical woke up the crowd for sure. Eighty-one sixty. Hardy six four one eighty. He's a sophomore. Jose inbounds to Cooper. Demons with full court pressure here. T. John Brown will bring it up for the Pokes. Brown to Berze. There's a three. Short, no good. Cowboys get a fresh 20. Brown works up top. Into the corner it goes for... Fields, he'll shoot it here. Go, that gets the bench excited. 83-60, under two minutes to go. I believe that's his first points of the afternoon. It is. Evening. Yep. Slack hits the three. Slack is having a nice second half. He's got seven points now. Cowboys by 20. Brown fakes a three. It's Jones. Now Fields again. He'll drive and he'll miss, but he's fouled. Wesley Fields heads to the line. Red shirt freshman, 5'10, 163. Foul goes against Carlin Hardy, his first. Hardy has the orangest shoes in the Southland Conference. <laughs> they made the all orange team, is what you're saying? Fields hits the first free throw. Usually anything that orange has to do with construction. And it's a jacket or a vest, yes. right? Second free throw is short. The rebound to the Demons, J.C. Riley. Slack will bring it up for the Demons. Looks it on the right side. It's knocked away momentarily. Got it back. Now it's stolen. T. John Brown for the dunk. Well, he gets in on the dunk act himself. 5-11. And a pretty solid slam for T. John. Slack for the Demons. 48 seconds left. Knocked loose again. Here come the Cowboys. Fields tees up a three. Got it. <laughs> How about it? How about it? Cowboy bench loving what the Cowboy backups are doing right now. They're having a good time. Ubaru is fouled. Brown will get the personal. And he'll head to the line. Uberu uh, will, that is.
Wilbur, a good looking freshman. 6'5, 199. Could do some things out of Philadelphia. Free throw is good. Hit them both. Cowboys will walk it up here. There is no shot clock. They'll get it into the front court and be satisfied with an 89-65 triumph in Southland Conference play. For McNeese, the streak will go to 14. The record will go to 19 and two. And the conference record will go to eight and zero. Tom, There's your gonna... final buzzer, and we'll get set for the post-game interview with Coach Will Wade. You're going to walk around the table, but you better take your headphones off. <laughs>